Hi, my name is Christian. I just want to go through my gear. Nothing special um, to start. I got the Sony AS200 VR. It's an action camera with a, re with a remote. So, um, it, I know they have a lot of ac different action cameras. This is a bit outdated. I think all of my stuff is a bit outdated, but I think it's still it's still okay, it's still good, because you can do a lot with action camera. It has uh, it's blast proof, steady shot, X X more R sensor, probably a tiny sensor. Um, what I liked about it when I picked this up, well, I ordered it online. Is it was the it was the size. They cooperate with size. I like that. It looks cool. Yeah. <gasps> so I think it looks really cool. Um, it's easy enough to operate. I can control this. Um, I can see that I can. Um, I can control this with the camera I'm using now. I can control it with my smartphone with an app and I got the remote so I have three ways to control this action camera and for what I do it's it's plenty I have a couple of kits so I bought the cameras so I could film my kids growing up and also try to do vlogging it's difficult it's really difficult I'm not used to it um, I was born in 1980 so we didn't grow up with all the selfies and all this technology so I think it's really cool even though some some a lot of people they want the newest they want 4k they want all sorts of smart things I'm I'm very happy with just 1080 and even though I go back you know buying this this was, I don't know when this came out it was probably well I probably have two or three generations past this one maybe even more but this is still good and with this I also got a Sony universal head mount kit I'm gonna try it on just to look stupid no I am stupid There's video like I'm not used to this this kind of uh, it feels weird but I'm just gonna do it you know, try something new doing videos like this um, it's it's really easy to set up um, I don't know. I'm not gonna edit a lot I'm just gonna try to to what um, just um, I'll wing it. I've got. I want to do some videos with a lot of things. It's just mounted like this. It's pretty good. Got to tighten it up. Come for a waterproof housing. Five meters, sixteen feet. I bought the headgear. And what I also like is the remote. Remote view. You can just look at your wrist. You can see the. It's it's really wide, so instead of having a DSLR with wide lenses and stuff, I would just use this for a wide shot. It's small. If if you want to walk around the block, and I'm not sure I could do that. It feels really weird just talking to a camera, but I like it. You can do this. My hands are free. I want to I wanna go sailing in my boat, I want to do fishing, maybe some hunting, I could, I could get some footage with this, still be active, semi-action, yeah. This is my first camera, um, it's very simple, I'm sure everybody else has something they really like, I, I was kind of on a budget. So I was like, um, what do I need? What should I get? I was trying to save a little money. 
Now sometimes I have a lot of disposable income, sometimes I don't have a have any disposable income. But um I I really like my setup. I bought it over a span of a year and um roughly for roughly eighteen hundred dollars. So um I'm just gonna move on to the next thing. Maybe this camera that I'm using now. I'm gonna switch the cameras. I'm gonna just gonna do that. So you can see this main camera I use. It's really good, in my opinion. You're now on the action camera. You got this. This is the remote and the built-in audio. See how that turns out. But for my main camera, kind of like a studio camera, I got the Sony AX53. I really like this one because I have kids. Uh, I've shared my daughter's birthday, Christmas, stuff like that. And um, you can just set it up and it just it films for hours. And um, I'm not into all the lenses and the DSLRs and stuff like that. I don't want to film my daughter's birthday in 4K with a blurry background. It's like, you get 4K and then you need a blurry background. To me that's kind of contradictionary, you know, contradicting like that. <gasps> this is my Sony AS, AX53. Um, it's really easy to use. I just run any everything auto. All I do is just auto. Use. I might play with it a little. Um, try different things. I've done a time lapse video. Um, my plan is to go out after I shoot all this and do some time lapse for the intro. So maybe you've already seen some time lapse. But um, that's the flip screen. You can see. There it is, yeah. And uh, it has the boss, balanced optical steady shot. And um, again, with the size, I love size. That's so cool, they do scopes, that's why I like it. I like to hunt. <gasps> so they do the lenses. Has 20 times optical zoom, plus, um, Maybe something called clear zoom. You can zoom in even far further. It has a few manual settings, focus, ISIS, stuff like that. But but it's a consu consumer camera. It's not really super professional. Um, I also got an SD card for it, 128 gigabytes. Um, uh, that's all fine. It has all sorts of features. One thing I learned from YouTube is you need to you need accessories. Um, what I didn't like the the optical system in here. It's kind of exposed to dust and stuff like that. But it has threads in here. I believe there were 55 millimeter threads. So, first thing I thought I needed to get was um, a UV filter. It's just clear. I, I don't know about you could get anything. You could probably get variable ND filters, stuff like that. But I just wanted a clear one, you know. Also, I got the size one. It was a little extra. It was a little more expensive. You can get cheap, cheaper stuff. I just wanted to thread it on. Then it's like I don't. I don't want to get it all dusty in there. I don't think there's any any good way to clean it. It probably break. It feels the the boss um, 
What's it called? Balanced optical steady shot. It feels like it's a magnetic gimbal in there. So now it's it's protected. And then for audio, I've, I've never I I got the video micro. That's really that's inexpensive, and for what I use it, it's really cheap. It has the cold shoe. You could get a Sony microphone, which is a lot more expensive, but the proprietary Sony microphone, it would only work on Sony products. If you get this, I don't know if I get a new camera someday, this will probably work with another camera. I think it maybe even would work with the action camera, but that would be too cumbersome. Um, uh, that goes there. It has the ports here. Just plug it in. It has an um, what's it called? An audio driver. You can set it. Um, I don't know if I can find it. I don't know if you're interested. But in the audio driver, you just crank it all the way up, and they go down a few notches. That. That's what I've seen on other videos on YouTube. Go to the top, go down a few notches. It should be alright. Um, I bought this. This was about, this was most of the money I've used. It's almost a thousand dollars. But I found um, this, the road and the UV field. I bought this also. I paid I paid for those. But when I bought the camera, just a camcorder, it's a handy cam. I found a, a bundle package which included this. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, I'm turning. Yeah, like this. It's the Sony tripod VCT VPR1. It's for me, I'm not prefer I'm not gonna kick my camera around. I'm gonna try to baby it, baby it as much as I can. I'm gonna take care of it. So I, I, this is not my action cam. I have an action camera right here, but this is for like you're indoors or the weather is good. You just bring it along to do some good shots. Um. So this works fine with the Sony AX. I have it here. It, it's not that big when you, um, you call it, fold it up. It, it, it's quite small. You can remove the remote like this. And it comes with a bag, just a cheap bag. I have it here. It's just a cheap bag. Whoa. So you can control it. What I like about it, it has slow zoom. It also works on this handy cam. Most of it, most of the things, I don't know if you need, most of these buttons work. The only thing that doesn't work on a handy cam is uh, this one. This is, uh, you can lock the photo button for long exposure. That doesn't work. The long exposure doesn't work on a handy cam. But if you have a regular Sony camera, you can do long exposure. It works like for normal pictures. You can take a normal picture with this on the handy cam, but not long exposure. That's the only thing. All the other things work. Grid line, power, such. It's quite easy. Once you get it, you'll like it. It has a little bubble. It is a... It is a fluid head. I think it, it's quite cheap. Oh, it's shaky. It's not an expensive tripod. But it was included with the... With the camera. You know, I just paid for the camera and this was included. A bundle deal. So, I needed a tripod and I was like, okay. That's, that's a good deal, I get that. So that works really well. It, 
It's a little... It's like... I'm shaking this. It's, um... For me it works okay. Of course you can get better. I'm kind of on a budget. But still I think it's pretty good quality. I really like my setup. As I said. Um... The next thing, it's not going to be a long video, I thought I was going to get technical, but I'm not. I can't, I can't be really technical, it's just to show, show, show the things, talk a little about them. They're good for what they are. So if, if you have a family, if you're not really a, I'm not really a professional, obviously. It's like, push the button, film the stuff. You know, family stuff. It's fun like that. It, very simple. Just, um... I'll get to use this in my other videos. Um... The next thing. I'm gonna switch back to this one. I really like it. It's a lot of fun. Yep. The next thing I got was the spark. Fly more combo. That's really fun. I really like it. I hate to be a fanboy, but it's really good. Um, the first time I flew the Spark, I had it on the ground. I took off from the ground, but the first time I flew it, I, I hand catched it. And ever since the first time, I just hand launched it. Palm landed it, or what you call it. It's really good. I just love it. It's so easy, it's so stable. And again, 1080, the Fly More, everybody knows it. Thousands of videos on that. But I got one and I can't complain. That's really good. It's, it's not the newest, but for me, if you're just a regular person, consumer, it's great. It's awesome. Um, I bought this in uh, February 2019. It's already a, a couple of years old, the model. Um, I did one firmware update and um, had, it hasn't asked for more than that. So maybe there are no more form, firmware updates. It, it's as good as it gets. Um, my first experience with drones, I had a little palm sized Hobson. I thought, ah, that's fun. I get another one. I get a bigger one. So I got a, a Hobson H501 with a remote with a screen on it. And I try it with a toilet bowl. And I have to calibrate it every time. But it kind of went out of control and fell into the water. I was like, that was in 2016. I was like, I don't want, I don't want any drone. I don't want anything to do with drones. But I started with the action camera. I bought the action camera. That was really fun. I started watching YouTube. That's really fun too. It's a great platform. Again, I didn't grow up with any of this social media. So I got the action camera. I thought I need another camera. I wanna. So I went with the handy cam, the one you're watching now. And that's really good. I really like this for filming family and um, private stuff, but life. You know, filming my kids growing up. And then I got. I got I thought. Okay, I gotta try to get a drone first. I was looking at the Spark a lot. It's like. Everybody's uh, 12 minutes of flight time on one battery. It's not enough and everybody's complaining. It's only 1080 But for me, that's for me. That's plenty and um, I'm gonna charge one battery. I'm gonna I'm gonna film the outro with just one battery. I'm just gonna do some um, what they call quick shots and just edit them on my computer. Included on the Go4 app is some um, free music from DJI. You could just put on the DJI tracks. For me they're okay. That's smart. 
Um, I tried the video prior to this one. I tried editing on the Go4 app, but I couldn't get the file, I couldn't get the edited video onto my laptop. So I could just upload it from my, um, from my phone to Facebook, to YouTube. So, but, so I, I, this time I'll, I'll um, edit this on my laptop. Just add the music on my laptop. That way I can include the video, um, I can include the drone shots on this video. If you just edit it on the lap, on the smartphone, on the app, you can't really include it in another video. Also, when you edit on the app, it leaves a watermark in the corner. I don't mind. But if you just do a drone shot, it's fine to edit on the app. But I want to fly this and um, do some quick shots and use this use it as an outro on this video but it's really great it's so easy it's so controllable i got a good one i don't know maybe some if not so good experience i'm in greenland i'm in south of greenland we don't have trees really we don't have a lot of obstacles so obstacle avoidance not really a big deal here so um oh signal uh, I haven't really, I'm not gonna go, I'm not, I don't want to fly my drone far, I just want to do shots of the immediate proximity. I've taken it 150 meters high without any problems. I've only gone out about 400 meters, that's, that's plenty for me. Um, I just really like it. Tons of videos on that one already, so, um. Um, one last thing, I think I'm going to do a time lapse on this one when I pack it. Uh, I, I bought the drone um, online, I bought everything online, I'm in Greenland. One last, oh no, a little thing, a hard drive, everybody needs a hard drive, I got a cheap one, a Seagate. 500 gigabytes. You're probably going to get more of these along the way. Um, I bought also, not too expensive, just the Low Pro. I moved the camera on. Just the Low Pro. I got the name. Oh, it's open. Just a minute. Low Pro Photo Classic BP300. AW. I got it in the mica color. I really like it. It's it's just uh, it's classic. It's named classic. I really like it. Um, I'm not crazy on tactical, on the tactical, but, but I like this kind of a military color maybe. Uh, very brown green, mica brown maybe. It's a little, it's a bit small. I can't fit my laptop into it. I wasn't quite sure about the size, but I might get a tablet. I can put a tablet in it. Um, why not? I have my action camera and head mount here. I have the AX53 here with the road mic. All this is the DJI Spark because, um, I put in the styrofoam case and I throw my bag on on top of it. I even got the propeller guards in there. I never used them. But you never know. It's also just for storage. All my stuff packs in here. Easy storage. Um, I'm gonna do a quick time lapse, I think, of me pack. Oh yeah. Um, it's it's modular. You can velcro these in and out. But I just set mine up like this, so it's it's not huge. It it's um uh, it can hold the things I've shown you. I'm just gonna pack it in a time lapse. Um, yeah, now I'm gonna go outside, 
shoot a time lapse for the intro and do a drone shot for the outro. Thank you for watching. Um, yeah. One quick little mention I forgot. Um, this has an all weather, an all weather rain cover, and it has this. It has these little clips for a tripod, and you can put tripods on the side. But um, my tripod, I feel, I feel it's a little clunky. You could mount a little a, a small tripod. You could, in a pinch, mount, mount this tripod on here and on the side. But a little um, a mention: you have this clip on top to hold a tripod. But you could also use this if you, this tripod doesn't have a hook. You could use this to clip it onto the tripod to um, weight it down. So it's a bit more stable. That's pretty good. It's pretty good to know. Just a little, a little mention I forgot. But um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pack this bag in a time lapse. I'm gonna use the action camera, and um, yeah, just gonna do that.